everybody to episode four of the toy box well let's take a look inside and see what the box has picked for us this week Aha. all right so it looks like we've got the wwe mattel elite series 37 stephanie mcmahon pretty cool been kind of waiting for this figure to come out um glad i was able to pick it up <clears throat> I had to pick Stephanie from her SummerSlam match with Brie Bella. Well, pretty cool. Standard Elite packaging, um, at least until next year when we get a brand new package. Um, there you see some stats with stuff. Um, ring of Tires from SummerSlam 2014, from Greenwich, Connecticut, Affiliations The Authority, Accomplishments, WWE Women's Champion, SmackDown General Manager. And of course, you see down at the bottom the other figures in the line. So we got Miz, Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins, John Cena, and Dean Malenko, who is the first time in the line. <clears throat> this box is pretty, like I said, standard WWE Elite Series packaging. You see the pictures of Stephanie, um, of course, all over the box. And of course, there's the figure, and she also comes with two, two fan size. So you got Steph, 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 and it's Steph for business. <clears throat> so we are going to pop Stephanie out of the box, take a closer look at the figure, and do some comparisons with some other figures of Stephanie. So we'll be right back. <music> All right, so now we got stuff out of the package. Let's take a closer look at the detailing of the figure, the articulation, all that fun stuff. Um, of course, you see the signs in the background, Steph for business and Steph, Steph, Steph. So they are made of a, a thicker paper, um, so they're a little more durable than if you were to print it out yourself or make something on like um, business card paper or card stock, something like that. So it's pretty cool that Mattel has been including those in a few of their figures. Uh, especially the ones with like less paint application and um, less detailing in the figure themselves. So pretty cool, nice little accessories to add to your your crowd setups. Uh, let's take a closer sort of look at stuff here. Uh, of course, you see the face. So pretty good likeness of stuff from SummerSlam. No complaints there. And then of course the ring attire is pretty spot on. <clears throat> Mattel usually does a pretty great job of. Uh, capturing the ring attire right down to the slightest detail so um, articulation would be the same as pretty much any diva figure of course you got the head um, a lot of the movements can be limited by the hair so you're going to get a little bit there um, of course the shoulder then the bicep the shoulder will turn too the biceps got a little turn there um, you got the bend there at the elbow then of course the twist at the wrist and then the chest area also has that movement there then the waist then of course the the hip, and then you got the top, the twist at the thigh and the bend at the knee, and a little bit of movement there at the ankle. And like all diva figures, regardless if they're elite or basic, every single one of them has the uh, pretty much all of them have just the the single bend of the knee. Unfortunately, um, the only reason why the divas get included into the elite series is if they have some more detailing on their ring attire um, than some of the other figures and some of the other attires um, something that requires a little bit more paint than what they have for budget for basic so um, pretty overall overall pretty pleased with this figure it's a great figure it's one I've been waiting for um, and it goes along great with of course if you have the, the basic figure of Stephanie the business suit so there's that. So you see, you definitely see the comparisons between the face. Both are pretty spot on. Um, I do think the scan of stuff in the suit is a little better uh, compared to the Elite one, but they are much better than this one, <laughs> which is the the infamous party girl stuff from <laughs> the Jax line. It was pretty much the the first Stephanie McMahon figure that Jax had released. So. Um, the reason why I guess the party girl name is because there are some figures that did not have the painted underwear so, and mine does not. Uh, I will not show that on camera because this is a family show. <laughs> um, so there you see the different comparisons between stuff, um, especially when like the face 
you can definitely see the huge difference as far as the face sculpts go. So, but all pretty much relatively the pretty good paint um, face sculpts on each figure. So. Okay, so that's going to conclude my look at the Elite, the Elite Series 37, Stephanie McMahon from SummerSlam 2014. <clears throat> got some other figures coming up still for reviews. Um, got some more Turtles figures. <clears throat> also have Elite 37, Dean Malenko. It all boils down to what the box is going to pick for us next. I, don't know, I have no control over it. Sometimes the box does what I want to do, sometimes it doesn't. It's like it's got a mind of its own. So, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay tuned. Come back. Subscribe. All that fun stuff. Until next time. Keep playing with your toys.